Hello everyone. In this video, I want to introduce you three uh, very common functions. So the first function is called find. Basically, you search for a substring within another string. And the second uh, function is called find character. So you look for a character uh, within a string. And the last one is called find word. Basically, find the word within another string. Right? So those three functions are very uh, common. And, um, and they are very straightforward to use. But I'll try to make it a little bit more interesting. So let me bring you a real world uh, example. So when you work, for example, in a bank, uh, sometime you had to deal with a mortgage. Right? Let's say a customer make a mortgage. So when you try to borrow the money, we have something called uh, appraisal value. So let's say this, you know, they, when you make a purchase and they, they try to evaluate you, your house, right? So you, let's say that this cost of your house is five, how much is, it's 500K, right? So let's say this is a house. And then you have an address. <clears throat> the address will be, let's say, One King uh, Street in uh, Toronto. And then the second address, let's say, is less is worth less, like four hundred k at one Queen Street. That's in um, in Hamilton. Okay, and the last one will be three hundred k, and it's one let's say Union. I don't know if there there's a street called Union in Milton. Right? In Milton. But when you calculate the property value, property property value for the current month, right? I say for the current month, right? you're not going to go back to the house and to do some inspectation, do some evaluation, right? So what you need is actually you need something called a housing price index. Uh, what we call HPI, HPI. So HPI basically is an index. Uh, let's say you purchase house, this one you purchase in 2018, this one 2017, and 2016, right? So you try to match this year, right? With the housing price index you purchased from somewhere, maybe online, right? And try to match the year and use the current year. Let's say the current year is 2000. Uh, 21. Um, this is usually go by the month, but I just you know show you by years just make it a little bit easier. So let's see in 2000, 2018, uh, for Toronto the index could be let's say uh, 1.2, and in 2021 let's say the price increased is 1.5. In Hampton let's say it's 1.1, and the increase to 1.2. Right. So basically you need to find the city name and then multiply by the HPI, right? So for Milton, I'll go 1.1 and 1.15, right? The index that is made up. But you see it's, it's different, it's different, right? So basically you need to use those functions, either find, let's say find function, or in this case, a find word function to search for the city, uh, search for the city. And then uh, you try to, once you find it, and then you try to, uh, join this HPI table and then just find the multiplier, find the multiplier, right? So that's uh, one practical use of those functions. So let's take a look at how those functions are used. In the first example, so you can see we create a, um, a data set with uh, three cities, right? Toronto, Milton, and Hamilton. Hamilton. And uh, you can see the data set here. In the uh, in the second data set, um, I created two uh, just to just to find a character, right? So I create two months, uh, basically uh, July and August. Uh, I picked those two uh, because um, actually Ju July is named after uh, Julius Caesar, and August is named after uh, Julius Caesar's cousin, uh, not cousin, nephew. Um, was Augustus Caesar, right? So I just pick those two months for fun. 
And then the last one, um, I want to search a word within um, within a, a string. So I use two sentences, basically a Shakespeare in love and also Romeo uh, and the Juliet by uh, William Shakespeare. So this will allow me to search for uh, a string, right? Like say a Shakespeare, a word. And then the second one, I can search for any character. And the first one, I'm going to search for the city uh, if I can find it. Right, and then I can use that city and then try to find the multiplier. Right. So let's take a look at the first example. Right. In the first example, uh, so we have again we have three cities, and then we use the find function and we try to find Milton. Uh, find the Milton. Uh, if the Milton is found, right, so we'll return the position. We'll return the position. So in the second case. Uh, it's supposed to be one, and in this case, um, it's supposed to be uh, one, two, three. So it's supposed to be three, right? So this is actually the mistake I made at work. I was searching for a string uh, called Milton, and then what happened is that for people who actually have a mortgage in Hamilton, it's never got returned because Hamilton contains the word Milton. So that's kind of a mistake I made at work. But for this example, you can see why you search for the mutant. Um, of course, in the first string, you're not going to find it. So if nothing is found, then return a position zero uh, because we know SAS start with one. Uh, so position zero uh, means it's not found. It's not found. So in the second string, the mutant and still zero. Uh, the reason because uh, within the, the codes, uh, it's case sensitive. Uh, case sensitive. So uh, this mutant is not the same as this mutant. Right? So when you go to the third line, the Hampton, uh, you can see um, this mutant, right? It's found at here. So basically one, two, three in the third character. And the Hampton actually is not found uh, because um, it's, still, it's case sensitive, right? It's case sensitive. So to uh, resolve that problem and what you need to do is you put an I uh, you put an I um, as the third parameter third parameter uh, just make a uh, case uh, insensitive the I can be lowercase and it also can be uppercase which is basically the same thing right so you can see why you put an I and then you can see in this uh, position number two uh, you can the Hamilton is found. So you can say it's one because if it's case insensitive, uh, this position, uh, like this Hamilton, will match this Hamilton. So that's return position one and the Milton and will match this Milton if it's case insensitive. So that's why you have one here. So which is different than uh, the result that above, uh, which is quite useful uh, because sometimes when you get uh, address from the customer, uh, they put uppercase, uh, lowercase, uh, mixed case. So this I um, can be very uh, useful uh, in the real world. In the real world. Okay. So that's that's the find function. Uh, find function. Uh, once you find the position, uh, then you can do maybe a substring or some further processing. Uh, this is very uh, the first step. The first step, right? Uh, the next example will be uh, find um, character. So you you are searching for a character within a string, within a string, for July, and uh, basically you can use the uh, find character. So you are finding the character U. I put the I here uh, just to show you the I also apply to other functions. But it's not quite useful here because you know the U is in the letter is lowercase. So in the first case, uh, in the first position, um, when you search in the July, in searching July, search for the character U, and you're gonna find in the second position, that's why you see a two here, right? And same thing, uh, when you search U in the second uh, string, and you're gonna find the first one, so basically this return um, a two here, right? So when you search for G and T, uh, since July doesn't contain G or T, so it returns zero, and then the August, which has a G as position number three, and because it's you know they found G, they do not continue to search for T. So um, so that returns the position 
uh, position uh, three. So that's basically you search for a character uh, within uh, within uh, the string within the string. The practical use case in um, in this case could be uh, when you search for customer emails and you try to parse out parse out like which one which customer has like Gmail accounts. Maybe you can search for ad sign or maybe some people have you know hot hotmail. I don't know if people still use Yahoo or you know like Outlook. So you can search for the ad sign sign and then you figure out how many customers actually use email or you know and other type of emails, right? So that's like that's kind of practical use case I can think of. Um, but and this can be quite useful as well. So this is find character. Okay. So the last function uh, uh, is find the word, right? So basically you search for a word, right? And if you search for a six beer, and this part is, is I, I have put an empty code because the third parameter here uh, is supposed to put a starting position starting position so by default it start from the beginning right if you put three they will search from the uh, the third character uh, third character you might find that useful but you are if you're not using it it's a bit empty uh, the reason I put here because I need to put an option uh, as uh, case insensitive uh, case insensitive so when you put I here uh, you search for those six beer and you're gonna find in the first string uh, first sentence and you find in the first position, that's why it returns one, right? In the second sentence, you're gonna find the six pair here. So this will be the 29th character. So that's why I see a 29. Uh, again, you can see on the bottom, uh, if you don't put that, um, that parameter I, and because it's case sensitive, uh, so they will not be uh, found, uh, the, I, the, the character uh, the, I mean the string six period will not be found, so that returns position zero, right? So this is some this is just one example I can I want to show you. Uh, so at the end I want to show you uh, the the coding part. So again, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward. You basically uh, you have this code and you're gonna write it, and then you're gonna see, right? The same thing that as I as what I demoed in the class uh, in the PPT, and uh, same thing here. All right, same thing here, and the last one, uh, you're not gonna find anything, right? So when you write, uh, the first one you're gonna see zero and zero, right? So if you want to change this one to a uppercase, uh, which I want to show you, and then we return the same same thing. Uh, the first one is one, second one is twenty nine, right? So um, so that's um, that's about it for those three functions. Uh, those are very simple and very straightforward. Uh, you can give a try. Uh, thank you very much and thank you for watching.